Alright, alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today guys, I have some nice oven baked barbecue chicken right here. These are some leg quarters that I caught on sale about a couple weeks ago. And I am just using the rest of them. Felt like some more barbecue, so let's jump into this video and I'm going to show you how I get it done. Alrighty guys, so right here I have my leg quarters. I got these uh, for about $6, a 10 pound bag. So I'm just going to get those washed up and cleaned up and ready to go. And I'm going to be seasoning this with my Uncle Steve shake, the bird shake. And I'm going to be using my smoke bomb. And my sauce is going to be my favorite craft sweet honey barbecue. Alrighty guys, so I got my chicken all washed up and cleaned up here. And I just had to show you guys this part. I was trying to season the chicken and realized that I didn't even open the seasoning yet. <laughs> so after I finally got that open, then I'm going to come in and just start seasoning this with my bird shake first. And I always season the, the underside of my uh, meat first, guys, because I always cook my chicken skin side up. All right, and I'm going to come in and season it with my uh, smoke bomb. That's going to give it that nice smoky flavor like you were outside on the grill, but you will actually kick back in your recliner while this is in the oven. Once I get that side seasoned, I'm just going to give it a flip. And we're going to get this other side seasoned, and this is going to be ready to go in the oven. All right, so we'll just season it up the same way as we did the underside. And guys, I'm going to bake this in the oven covered. This is going to go on 350. Well, these are kind of big, so I'm going to let them go for at least uh, an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half at the most. I want to make sure that these are nice and tender. All right, so after I get it seasoned up, I'm just going to cover it with fall in the oven 350. One hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes, and I will be back once these are absolutely done. Alrighty guys, so this baked for about an hour and 20 minutes I let it go. And remember these were pretty huge. And I think they could have cooked that extra 10 minutes. But it's still going to go back in the oven uh, once I sauce it. So that should give it enough time to get nice and tender. So I'm just going to take these off of my pan or out of my pan. And I'm going to discard this liquid. And once I get that liquid discarded, then I'm going to come back and add just a little bit of barbecue sauce inside of my pan. I don't care if my chicken doesn't have like a lot of sauce on the bottom of it. Just as long as I have a nice uh, thick coating of sauce on the top. So I'll just get a little bit of this sauce down here. Then I'm just going to kind of brush it. Just to spread it around a little bit. And once I do that, then I'll come back and put my chicken back inside of here. I said chicken back and it made me feel like some smothered chicken backs. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so once I get my chicken down inside of here, I'm going to go ahead. And add my sauce to the top. I like to add just a light coating at first. And then I'll get these back in the oven uncovered for about 10 minutes or so. 15 minutes at the most. Then when it comes out, I'll add another coating of sauce and put it under, uh, put it under the brawler. Is what I'm trying to say. Alright, so I'll get that spread on. Back in the oven uncovered 
for 10 to 15 minutes and I will be back. All right, guys, I am back. This is how my chicken looked after another 15 minutes or so in the oven. Now I'm coming and adding my second coating of sauce. And I like to add it a little bit heavier. Doing the second time around. And I'm just going to brush that on. And then this is going to go under the broiler for about five minutes. You do not want to walk away from this guys because it absolutely will burn. Which I like a little char on mine, but I don't like it burnt. So I'll put this under the brawler for about five minutes and this will be done. Okay guys, this chicken is done. You can see that it's still nice and bubbling from being under that brawler. My sauce has set pretty good. So I'm just going to let this cool for a couple of minutes. Then I'm going to plate me up. I had this with some corn and some uh, chicken rice. I have a video of my chicken rice also. I'll put that in the description of the video. But I'm going to be back and give this a taste test. All right, all right, guys. We are going to give this a quick taste test. Oops, excuse me, shaking the camera like that. I have my chicken rice, barbecued chicken leg quarters, and I have some corn. All right, guys, so you can see this is nice and hot. I'm just gonna take a little piece of this chicken, nice and tender. Some of this corn, some of this rice. Look at that. That's still my heart. Okay, let's give this a taste. So season perfectly. I season that with some onion powder, uh, the chicken bouillon base, and a little black pepper. For my corn, I did a little black pepper and a little salted butter. And you guys saw what I did with the chicken. My Uncle Steve shake, the bird shake, and the smoke bomb. That is so good. Mm. All I'm going to do is get my hot sauce, and that's going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Alrighty guys, I know you guys heard me smacking, but at this point guys, I don't care. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video guys, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And guys, my next video is going to be the homemade banana pudding, so definitely stay tuned for that. Alrighty guys, until then, peace.